All students will have a, a choice of four entry-level art classes that they can take, semester-long studio art classes. Uh, those are drawing, photography, ceramics, and a class called visual art that is a non-media specific class that can take a lot of different forms. Um, and then most students um, choose to take that freshman or sophomore year, and we really encourage that uh, because once they complete one of those four courses, then they can go on and take any of our other courses that interest them. Uh, some of those include uh, painting, silversmithing, comics. Um, they can also take another class at level two. We have some AP classes in the department that um, typically will be taken junior or senior year. For a school our size, I think we have a pretty robust art program. We have uh, three art teachers in the upper school. Um, we have an entire building dedicated to the arts. We have um, a, a wide range of art electives. Um, classes I've never really encountered in another high school, such as silversmithing, such as comics. Um, even AP art history is, uh, I have found to be a sort of rare in area high schools. All of our art teachers are practicing artists. Um, I think that's so important that, you know, when the art teachers are in the room, you know, talking to students about their work, it's not uh, the knowledge that they're um, communicating to the students. It's not just theoretical. It's not just uh, educational theory. It's, you know, wisdom coming from people who are engaged in making and have been for, you know, longer than the students. I'm trained in ceramics. Um, I got uh, my undergraduate and my graduate degrees in ceramics, um, primarily focusing on sculpture. Um, so I teach the ceramics classes here. Um, and I still make ceramics. Um, my primary pursuit these days is uh, making comics. And um, so I do that. I'm, I'm working on um, publishing a book right now. And uh, a few years ago, I launched a comics class. I want my students to, to realize that, uh, that they do have uh, an access point to making art, that it can be a satisfying part of their lives. And at the very least, I want them to, uh, to think creatively, to think in ways that are completely open-ended, um, driven by their own curiosity. I mean, those are just life skills, right? Like, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's gotta be something beyond making art objects, right? Um, if my students can be comfortable with ambiguity, if they can begin to identify things that they're curious about and then begin to pursue those, whether it's through making art or picking up a book on, you know, that they want to read or making choices about the direction of their lives. I mean, that's, uh, that's something that I think the arts are uniquely sort of situated to provide. I'm really proud of our department um, for a number of reasons. Um, one, I think we work really hard to cultivate an atmosphere in which the students are comfortable to take risks and play um, in the medium. Um, and we, you know, we structure things like uh, grading structures in a way that encourage that risk taking that's so important to, uh, to creativity um, to happen, right? Without fear of getting a bad grade and things like this. I think one of the um, main thing that makes our program really strong is that we have pretty small classes. So I feel that I can really form relationships with the students and uh, the primary form of assessment in the classes is conversations with the students about their work, right? Um, so, you know, you throw out, as a teacher, you throw out a, an assignment, an obstacle, some sort of prompt, uh, perhaps a material, and the students have to respond to that, right? And we, we always try to ask them to bring something of themselves to the project, right? Um, I'm always trying to find that, you know, what is the minimum amount of structure I can give an assignment that forces the student to confront whatever it is I need them to confront or deal with, and also maximizes how much of their own personalities, their own interests, uh, that they can bring into the project. I think Pembroke Hill um, is a great school. Um, we have an entire building dedicated to the arts. We offer a, a great variety of courses and they're all at a very high level.